So what we're going to be doing is doing a full respray on a car for about 300 quid. Hello, welcome back to the Auto Alex channel. You join me and Taylor Hetherington of Taylor Made Cars in a lovely unit where today we are going to be respraying my Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo using nothing but rattle cans and very limited knowledge. How are you feeling about this? Um, I'm actually quite excited because for once I actually want to try and do something properly and see if we can make it look really nice. Indeed. There are no caravans in this video. There's going to be no smashing up of anything. But Rory, if we have a quick look around, um, obviously you've seen a few videos of this car, but you haven't seen in detail how bad the paintwork actually is. So if you have a look at this door, completely faded, we have done a bit of a kind of test polish here and as you can see it does look all right probably through the lens on your tv screens your mobile phones and your laptops it looks all right but up close it's it's not good a lot of the paint came off on the pad which would suggest that it's solid paint and it's not been lacquered which would suggest that it's original paint because i believe this car wouldn't have actually come from factory with lacquer on it no whereas the rest of the car has got quite a lot of lacquer peel and I, i'm pretty sure it's all been painted there's bits of signs of filler, paint reaction, moisture in the paint, and various other things, especially on the roof. Yeah, speaking of moisture on the paint as well, there's a little section here. I don't know if you can see that, Rory, Just but there. it is, I mean, it looks kind of penis shaped almost. We are going to take sanding discs to the whole car. We're gonna get it you know, back as much as we think we do need to. Yeah. Then fill it, prime it, paint it, and then lacquer it. You're failing to mention the one big thing that we're going to be doing it with as well. Oh, we're painting the whole car with rattle cans. Did I not mention that? With the lacquer peel, because yeah. I, I like to learn about bodywork. I've always wanted to do it, never done it. Well, I did do it once and it turned out terrible. It looked like I'd done it with a crayon. But whenever I go to the body shop that I use, I'm always interested to see what they do and how they do it and things like that. And I know from experience when I bought cars with lacquer peel in the past, you have to sand it back really far and spend a lot of time sanding it down because otherwise the new paint that you put on it will react with it. So we might have to take the roof, the boot and this quarter down to maybe bare metal. I think the most uh, professional thing for us to do would just be to wing it. So what we need to do now is we need to take stuff like Indicators off. These are actually uh, the same as Ferrari indicators. Wing mirrors need to come off. All the badges uh, need to come off. And then we're just going to attack the entire car with a sander after we've obviously covered everything up with wrapping paper. I asked you to get plastic. Uh, I'm going to mask up the rubbers so that when we sand it down, if we, if we catch the rubbers, we don't want sanding marks on the rubbers and the trims and the windows and things like that. Here is also a replacement panel, which in some lights might look purpley silver. It is in fact sprint blue. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I've done a terrible job of this. I've gone through to the metal already. Is that good? None of it's even at all. Well, Look, we're using it. It's like the Rocky Mountains. Wow. It's just supposed to hold it flat and just do it even. Well, it? we've established I get bored easily. <laughs> no, you've got ADHD. I think we've made very good progress. The sander that you brought was just too, too abrasive. Yeah. So we're now using the Orbital only and uh, wet sanding. And the aim now is just to flat it all off, as you can see here. And then that gives it a really nice, that gives the paint a really nice key for the primer. So what grade sandpaper are you using? This is 240 reference? now. 240 grit? Yeah. So do we have to go over it again after that with something a bit finer? No, 240 and then it's primer, isn't that's, it? That's not how it works. Is it not? 800 and then high 800. primer. And then you have to wet sand the primer, don't you? With 1200. With 1200. But we need to get to the priming section first. <sighs> Today though, 
in the next hour, we'll have the whole car done. Be I'd just mess. like to say, when I have gone to my body shop in the past and seen cars being painted or prepared, they don't usually look like that. That's because they know what they're doing. What this looks like is that it's been in a primary school. So we're starting off quite poorly, but I think the end result is going to be all right. This is supposed to be a DIY respray. No, it's not. Respray. It's actually not. It's a DIY respray, but it's not a how-to. Like we could have done our research and hit the ground running, but that's not... That is one other thing we should point out. Oh, Neither of us have done any research into this at all. No. But, like I said, I still think the end result will be good. I hope so, because I would actually like this to look nice. It will look nice. We're just, we are finding our feet, because I am learning as I am doing. Yeah, you sort of, you get a feel for it as you yeah. go along. So Halford's taught us how to do a respray. So prep, you need to use a 240. Then you prime it, and then you sand it back with 400. Then you prime it again, and then 800. Paint, done. It gives you a little insight into Taylor's weekend. Tampons do sausage. Sometimes I have the odd leakage. Taylor's gone to the toilet, so he's going to be a while. As you can see, it is now the end of day one doing a DIY respray with rattle cans. We haven't actually got to that. What we have done is we flattened off all the paint. Um, you can see the difference here. This is thicker than this. Um, the roof, a bit of an accident. We were using Rory Sander. It's too aggressive, Rory. Just like you, you're too aggressive. Better than the one that you brought. Yeah, which is nothing. You're right. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to go back. We're going to wet sand it, and then we're going to primer, and then we're going to respray everything and then clear coat. No, we won't get to that tomorrow. There is a lot of work to do. We need to come back early. So join us in the morning. Oh, good of us. Good of you to join Sorry, us. Sorry, I was just having a shit. Oh, for <laughs> Welcome now to day two. As you can see, we have had to move Fabrizio to a new unit because um, we outstayed our welcome. Faster than me, you need to shit. Come here. Apologies for that. The car is now, where are we, Rory? We're in. This is our new unit, everybody. This is actually, well, not our new unit. This is our first ever unit. Oh, yeah, sure. We've never had a unit. We're going to show you the unit properly. Um, actually, why don't you just show them the unit? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit shit at the moment. Yeah. We moved in yesterday, so we've got a lot of work to do. We're going to flooring, paint, blah, 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 pictures, all the rest of it. But tools, tools, we're going to get some tools and a little scissor ramp. What we need to do, because um, he looks like a right state is wet sand the entire body to 800 grit sandpaper. Then we need to do some filler work on the rear wheel arch because it's quite lumpy. Then we need to degrease it and then mask it. And then two, maybe three um, layers of primer. I think genuinely that this is gonna come out a lot better than any of us are expecting. I'm expecting a high gloss finish. But if there are runs and all we need to do is just flat and polish it. And we're going to be using Barney Saunders from Saunders Detailing as well. He's the guy who was there at Matwood. He was detailing the Golf GTI that we did an auction on with Mike Brewer. So he knows his stuff. He's going to be helping. You wait, you wait. This is going to be a transformation that you just could not believe was true. And yet here we are doing it. 350 quid, if we can get a good result, Rory, we've saved ourselves 10 times that. If we can do it, then you definitely can. Let's crack on, yeah? yeah. Time lapse. Woo! We got some Range Rover filler. What? P38. Oh, should we just not bother with the instructions? No, we should definitely bother with the instructions. Measure out required amount of hardener and paint. Oh, for Say, I'm already bored. Yeah, maybe. Have we got any screwdrivers? <laughs> we actually don't have any tools here. We literally moved in yesterday. What about a wooden fork? It's broken. We'll cut all of that rawry and then we'll just go straight to. Okay. All right. Nice. Open it up. But it said golf. You know, that sticks. Golf ball to pea size. Should we do half a golf ball? How much? All right. Watch this. Half a golf ball? Yeah. Right, and a pea. 
Oh, oh, it's. That's it, that's it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at us go, Rory. We are pretty much body shop technicians. Right, watch this. So I'm just going to slap loads on and then we'll just sand it smooth. Is that a good idea? The more the merrier, right? We might as well. No, no, no. Right. Oh, well, now we know we can definitely get it smooth because we have a lot of it. Better to have too much than too little, Rory. I know that. So do you. That's why you walk funny. That's why you walk like a duck. Right, now fast forward to 25 minutes with some heat on it and then we'll sand it down. Meanwhile, the car is being masked up. The man on the right is a professional car stealer. I'm an extra. <laughs> because he makes keys. What's your company called? Access Denied Car Keys. Access Denied. And this is Barney from Saunders Detailing. Hello. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I come here for some lunch and you knock <laughs> my life up. So, uh, filler is hardening. Who's filler hardening? Harden. We're, we're, we're all going to harden it. We're all hardening. You're like the worst person I know. Yeah, yeah. apart from Rory. Apart from Rory, he's mm. the worst. Mm. Do you know what? We have done this and it doesn't look that shit. The what? roof looks like a cow. I've got a feeling that when this is painted, this is going to look shit. Wait, imagine this with a big diffuser, big carbon fiber diffuser coming out. This is so rusty, Rory. Have you seen this? That is, that's no good. Okay, so now's the moment of truth. The filler is slash isn't hard because maybe we didn't use enough hardener. What's that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some 800 sandpaper. We're gonna try and smooth this out a little bit. And if it's still a little bit wet, then we're just gonna scrape it off and start again. But I think we'll be all right. Rory, you don't think we're gonna be all right? We're gonna be all right. No, I think you put way too much on. Yeah, but not enough hardener because, Rory, why is that? Because you told me to stop. Yeah, but you put way too much of this on. I think this is all right. So we'll just clean this off and then I think we're ready for um, primer. Right, so that's done. Now we need to tack cloth and then we need to degrace. But before that, everybody stop, give me your money. That's it, get shit all over the tack cloth. No, I'm using the other side. How is your tack cloth? I've Oh, it's a workout. Jeez Louise. Oh, I can't reach the roof. We should actually open up a body shop. I'm serious about this. Yeah, this is a piece of piss. Why the hell do they charge so much? Where's the degraser? Here's the degraser. Should we just pour it all over the car? Yeah, pour it over this. Should we just pour it over the car? No, because it'll melt the paint. Yeah, a bit more than that, that's it. You won't sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that at home. Oh my, oh. I thought that fell on there and it just instantly stripped the paint. Ooh. High quality Italian steel. Have we got a pulse? Right, I'm bored. I want to primer now. Where have you done? All of it. No, you haven't. I have. You, Wait you for really me. have to shake it a lot. A lot. <laughs> Rory, what do you want? What can I get you today? I have a uh, four-star here. Hey! Oh, Taylor, put your fucking mask on properly. All right, mum. These nozzles are very good for this side wheel primer. I think it's going all right, Rory. What do you think? I think it's actually going all right, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, so it is now the end of the day. And as promised, Fabrizio, the Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo is now Primer Nardo Grey. So what we're gonna do now is just clear coat and then just be done with it, because this is, it's getting long, isn't it? Right. No. Anyway, what do you think of the result? We have done two coats of high build primer. I think it looks pretty damn good. I think we've done a brilliant job. We've actually done something and it doesn't look shit. Yeah, we've been very productive today, Rory. We have. This makes a change for us. Yeah. It really does. So let's have a quick walk around. So the bonnet here at the front, you can see there's a bit of a ding there. So what we need to do, and also there, a little scuff. What we need to do is sand it, put some filler in and then sand it back and then go over it again with primer. We're gonna give this at least three coats. Yeah. And then Rory, if you follow me, this area here has actually come out pretty well. We're happy with that, but we have also noticed that there are two kind of indentations in the body there. So whatever hit this actually dragged along the whole side of the car. So we're gonna filler that. We're gonna make this as perfect as we can. We're not gonna do a half assed job, but there are no more dings or dents to really speak of. This has been quite a well looked after car considering it's got over, well over 200,000 miles. In the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint. We're gonna put that paint in those tins on the car and then clear coat and hope beyond hope that we um, actually do a good job. I really hope it doesn't go wrong. Yeah. Cause I actually want this to look really good. Yeah, if it goes to shit, then we will be speaking to Saunders Detailing Barney to fix it. Cause you fix a lot of paintwork. Yeah. Um, but for now, Fabrizio looks really awesome. Um, I'm really happy with the result. Thank you very much for watching. Also, thank you to the channel members as well for supporting. We've got a Discord as well, so we've been showing you some behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, check that out if you're interested to, uh, to see some of that stuff. From us for now though, have a great weekend. And um, yeah, go respray your cars. It's dead easy. <laughs> right. Any final words? Uh, go respray your cars. Oh, there we go. You've agreed. Because it's not easy. No, it's not easy. <laughs> anyway, Rory, good night. No. And farewell. Yeah, okay. You need to mask up. Come here! Ah!